In the latest development from Afghanistan, the Taliban has taken responsibility for the killing of a comedian in the country. Last week, viral videos emerged showing Nizar Mohammed with his hands tied behind his back and sitting between two men in a car being slapped repeatedly. A Taliban spokesperson has claimed that Mohammed was an active policeman and responsible for the deaths of many people. The police refute this claim and say that the comic was never deployed in combat and was more of an entertainer for the checkpoint's officers. The terrorists had initially denied they had anything to do with his murder until the videos went viral. Mohammed was popular for his comic routines on social media and was known for his jokes and funny songs. If Khashazwan deserved to be killed, he should have been put on trial in court. If that was the case, he should have been killed after being tried in court. This killing which has happened is unjustifiable. Elsewhere, a report by the US-based Washington Examiner has said that Pulitzer Prize-winning Indian photojournalist Danish Siddiqui was brutally murdered by the Taliban. The report emphasized that Siddiqui was not simply killed in crossfire, as was previously reported. Siddiqui had traveled with an Afghan army team to the Spin Baldak region to cover conflicts there. Siddiqui was hit with shrapnel during an assault with the Taliban. He and his team went to a local mosque for first aid. The report says that when the Taliban got to know that the journalist was at the mosque, they attacked. The brutality of Nizar Mohammed's killing has heightened fears of revenge attacks by the Taliban. This fear has driven thousands of Afghans who worked for the U.S. military to apply for special immigration visas to the United States. The Taliban's offences are also undermining their assurances that no harm would come to people who worked for the government with the U.S. military or with U.S. organisations. Weon's Pakistan bureau reporter is in Kabul and he sent us this report earlier. Two killings in the past two weeks. One that has been claimed by the Taliban, the other that has not been. The one that has been claimed by the Taliban is of Nazar Muhammad Khasha, a very famous comedian over social media. The video clips of him being slapped by two Taliban members have gone viral. The Taliban spokesperson has said or rather claimed that those who were involved in this act have been arrested and they would be tried because that was against their orders. Khasha Zwa was later, after being arrested, was later killed in a more brutal manner. But that was not the first time. Earlier uh, this month, we saw the brutal killing or rather a heinous killing of an Indian journalist. The Pulitzer uh, Award winner, Danish Siddiqui, photojournalist associated with Reuters agency, was killed after his uh, convoy was ambushed by the Taliban near Spin Bulldog. Details that now have emerged say that his body, uh, that he was rather targeted and that his bullet riddled body was returned. The Taliban have not officially claimed it, but the Afghan government maintains that the, uh, the convoy with which um, Dan Siddiqui was traveling was indeed ambushed by the Taliban. The security forces right behind me here in Kabul are of the opinion that they would want to fight until their last breath in order to uphold the dignity and sanctity of their nation and they refuse to give up. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan, for Vion, World is One.